The final step in our dairy cash flow plan is to complete our dairy cash flow spreadsheet. Simply come up to the PSU cash flow tab, click on the annual cash flow button to open that cash flow spreadsheet. We're going to start off by entering in the gross milk price that we plan to use in the coming year. We'll then enter the total number of cows, total number of cows milking, and our total milk per cow per day production. You can see that the program has already calculated the total milk pounds shipped on the year and our total milk gross sales. We want to enter any beginning cash balance we might want to have on hand, followed by any co-op dividends, any cull cow sales, our bull calf sales, and our miscellaneous dairy sales, which could be any dairy heifers or cows sold for dairy purposes, any MILC payments or other government payments such as crop insurance, and then any custom work income that we might have done. Our crop sales will have been calculated over on the Determine Crop Cost section and already entered in here. Any other farm income we might have will be entered in over on the Other Enterprise column on the far right. This will automatically transfer to the Whole Farm column here in column C. This gives us a total inflow for the year of $434,600. As we scroll down to our outflows, we can see that our crop direct costs have already been entered from the determined crop sheet. We have our seed, fertilizer, chemical, custom hire, and land rent already included. This is a total crop cost of $64,426. Our purchase feed costs, calculated from the rations and crop cost spreadsheet, are listed here in a reference table on the left. We can enter this information here in the yellow boxes to correspond to the purchase feed cost per cow in each one of these areas. Once we have entered this information, we can see that these are all on a per cow per year basis and that the whole farm cost for the whole year will be calculated in the whole farm column. Our total purchase feed cost on the year will be $86,777 or total cost of $1,000 and nine for the cows. Then we want to move on to our dairy direct expenses. We are also entering these on a per cow basis because then if we want to change our cow numbers, these dairy direct expenses will automatically shift with the number of cows that we have. Once we have entered those in, we see that our total direct expenses for the dairy are $58,910. Our related operating expenses, or our overheads, have already been copied over from the Determined Crop Cost Spreadsheet. We also want to add in our Family Living and Owner Draw that was also copied over, as well as our loan payments a little farther down. This gives us a total outflow of $336,913 on the year, leaving us with an operating surplus of $97,687. If we have any income taxes, we would have added those in there, and any capital sales or purchases a little below. Any new borrowing for any new loans that we might have will also come in here. When you add, factor in the loan payments, that leaves this farm with an annual cash surplus of $16,723. As we scroll down through a little bit farther, we can add in a basis for our milk check, which will show us the difference between our milk price break-even for our gross price and the class three break-even price. If we have a beginning annual operating balance, such as from a line of credit, we would add that in here as well as the interest rate on that. We enter the basis in two places, both on the whole farm and in the dairy total, to look at the difference between the whole farm break-even and the dairy break-even. Once we have finished entering in all of the information, we can move on over to the cash flow summary page, where we can look at our whole farm information. We will enter the total milk pound shipped from the reference table on the left, as well as the number of days in the shipment. In this case, this is the total milk pound shipped in the year which is 365 days, 
our gross milk price, and our break-even price. This is our income over feed cost break-even for the year, as well as our milk margin. We can see that there are two columns listed, a market column and a cost column. This goes back to comparing the market cost for the feed and the farm producing cost to have the feed. We can see that our income over feed cost in the market side and on a feed cost on the home raised side are quite different and our income over feed cost is higher when we are producing all of these forages and concentrates on the farm. As we scroll down through we can see this table information is represented well in these two graphs with our income over feed cost break even being represented by this blue line here and our milk margin break even being represented in the table on the right. You can see that our per animal feed cost summary per day can be shown up here in this table on the right. Our farm feed cost to feed our milking cows is $5.08 per day. Now you can take this information to plan out your farm for the rest of the coming year and use it to monitor your expenses and your management strategies for your dairy. If you have questions on this or other programs from Penn State Extension, visit extension.psu.edu dairy or contact your local county extension office for more information.